Hello there, there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for No Stylus. And today I'm going to have a look at an application called Text Expander Touch. And it's a bloody great application, which is great for editing notes and editing snippets. And um, I've got it both on my Mac and I've also got it on my iPad. This is the iPad version. Okay, so here we go. And um, I can create an edit notes on here. So this is a note that's in there already. Tap on that button there and I can go to my snippets. I have a few snippets on there which are handy if I want to do some uh, HTML type things. So if I type in a comma plus an A, then that will uh, put in the uh, HTML link. And I've got some markdown ones in there too. So if I type in M followed by a capital B, that will take whatever I've got selected and it will turn it into a markdown bolding, which is quite good. So if I want to have it um, put in all the best, David Allen from Mac 20 Questions, at the end of an email, I'll just type in ATBM. And that'll save me a whole pile of typing, so that's pretty good. You're going to do some of these things anyway with your uh, keyboard shortcuts that come with iOS as well. So let's have a look at that. So let's go to uh, Settings, Keyboard. And you see I've got a few shortcuts on there already. So if I type in comma WN, it'll actually fill in no stylus for me. So that's a nice little shortcut to have. So if we've got this ability to do these keyboard shortcuts, in iOS, why do we need to get Text Expander? Well, the thing with Text Expander is that it works on both your iOS and also on your Mac. So that's these uh, ones that I've got on here, these snippet groups, the articles, for instance. Let's have a look. So the good thing about this is the fact that anything I put into the uh, Mac as new snippets will automatically find their way over onto this application here, which is rather nice. So what's good about this is that it all works together. If I do two forward slashes followed by a D, it'll put in HTTP and all that stuff and Digital Book Maestro, and I don't have to worry about it too much. And it's exactly the same snippet that I've got on my Mac. So we've got some settings in here as well. So I can tell you to ignore case. I can tell you to expand immediately. I can tell you to play a sound. Auto capitalization, so that's uh, useful sometimes. So if you do a full stop and then a space, it'll start the next sentence with a, a capital letter. And we've got auto corrections in there too. Works with Tweetbot. And of course, I could have it working with Tweety or Twitter as well. And the synchronization goes through Dropbox. It's a really good application. I think it's well worth having. And it does offer a bit more than the settings that you have within the system settings of iOS keyboard. And um, I think it's worth getting. Mainly because the fact that you've got it here on your iOS device. And also, you've got it working on your main machine too. And there's a lots of neat little tricks you can do as well, where you, for instance, might want to have it so that the uh, insertion point, that is where you're going to start typing, within the text. But it's really the best way to do this is to actually show you. So let's go to an application where we can actually use this. So let's go to Simple Note. I'm fairly sure that uh, Text Expander will work within that. Let's press that to start a new one. So comma A. And this time it's put in the code there, the HTML code, and it's also got it ready for me to start putting in the uh, the URL. So remember, I can do that using two forward slashes followed by a D. And then all I need to do then is to put in the, uh, the link text. So that's a pretty handy way of doing some HTML coding using Text Expander on your iPad. And that's why it's handy to have this application Text Expander Touch on your iPad or on your iPhone. Saves you a whole lot of typing. So there you go. This is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for No Stylus. Bye bye now. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos. Here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.